Hi, Scorpio. All right, welcome to this place. Welcome back if you're returning. All right. Feeling better than before. Um, so, uh, I would like to thank you first and foremost for... Um, Well, being really, really real, <laughs> you know, being really, really honest, um, fixing the parts in yourself that you have fixed, fixing, continuing to fix the parts that are just a part of us. Cause I think we all have parts that are hard and, or not the strongest parts in us and working on trying to, uh, make those m more functional, right? And taking the strengths and uh, applying them in such a way that is creative. So we're gonna start like we usually do with um, some messages that came and then we'll get into the cards. Let's start with that. So notes here are I saw some kind of observation, which is actually emphasized by this hawk card. And there you are, scorpion, right underneath. So, observation. Hawk is a very good observer. Um, they're also wonderful with boundaries. Um, they know what is what is threatening and what is not. They know who they're when they're safe, um, how to talk to their partner, or how to talk to that which they're connected to in a way to let them know where they're at. And um, so I wrote down again, we have observation and then I see other people. <clears throat> and then it says here is seeing what can be done, but not by comparing, right? Observation, other people seeing what can be done, but not by comparing. Comparing yourself, you know, like, say you've been working on something for a, for a while. You've been putting time into something <clears throat> intentionally, creatively, positively, right? Purely, if possible, right? And it's like a slow go, say, in comparison to other people. <clears throat> you don't need to compare yourself to other people. Your uniqueness, I mean, we're all, well, that was something else that came, like, during your prayer, it was like, I'm not, I heard, I'm not special, which had a humbleness to it, you had an honesty to it, basically expressing, like, okay, a person understands, right, I'm not any more important than anyone else, um, but does that make you any less special, like, do you know that you're special? Right, we all have eyes, but we all have different eyes. Right, we all see the world through different eyes. So no need, again, I see to compare yourself. Authenticity, everyone, authenticity matters. This has to do with Saturn, Venus, and the 11th house, if you wanna look at that in your map, excuse me. And then I wrote down, someone wants acceptance. Accept, accept oneself, accept yourself. I guess this could also just be accepting the self, meaning going back to other people and however that connects, you know, because we're energy, I feel like someone's going to start to notice a little bit more, not to put things on different levels, like, oh, this is more important than others. Oh, there's such a duality there. Hold on. We're going too fast. Oh, this is, is this like a philosophical conversation you have in yourself all the time? Like, where it's like, we've talked about it before. It's like super elated, right? And then like super depressed. <laughs> it's, it's so extreme sometimes, you know. But what's cool here is I feel like I see someone like shooting, like they're hitting the mark. They're, they're, it's like something, something... Didn't we talk about this leapfrog? 
Right, the frog. So the last thing, the messages that came in this way were um, there could be some fears maybe around what you're trying to create or who you are as a person or how that connects to other people or what you think success is, these kinds of things. I feel like if there, there's fear, there's fear somewhere in here. And I feel like those fears are really groundless, right? Like they don't, they're, it's like, it's not true, especially if you put the fullness of caring, meaning like Venus, because careful is an interesting word. I am full of care, but oh, be careful, right? Be full of care. And then I wrote down the words, we have the words planning. So when there's careful planning, I suppose fears become groundless. Now, it doesn't mean everything goes according exactly to plan, because I suppose spirit has a plan, right? God's got a plan for all of us. It took me a long time to figure that one out, but it's true, right? And all of you here are so strong, you know? Some people really can't look in the shadow. They don't even want to touch it with a, with a hundred foot pole. And all of you here do. And I'm so proud of you, okay? I know as a reader, as it, it's, it's never, it's always a deep, deep, deep conversation, right? And I really applaud you for wanting to learn, for wanting to adjust your karma. You know what I mean? Like, it, understand that you have some, some. You have the the conscious awareness to uh, create a different life for yourself if you want, or expand it in ways that are just so beautiful and safe. Right? We've talked about this for a long time. You were allowed to have. Love. Peace, uh, joy you know okay let's see what's going on so we have three let me write down the cards things I realize that sometimes we some people just probably like the cards to, to look at the visual so Scorpio let's see what's going on with you oh the lion okay and the wheel of fortune holy smokes Okay, at first this line was in reverse. So this kind of emphasizes where there could be, if, if there was a lack of courage with something or like a, a, right, lion they say is the king of the jungle. It's the other feral sign besides you. So maybe Leo could also be helpful. Leo in the 10th house. I guess this is being courageous at work. It's being a leader in some kind of way, taking up some kind of, leadership position, whatever your position is, you know, you could be the janitor, but you treat that job like you're the, well, that, that, I guess whatever you're trying to do, do your best, <laughs> try to do your best. And maybe some of you actually will have some creative ideas about who you are in the world. And this line's actually looking over at other people. Let's see what's going on with other people. Okay, so spider and three of pentacles. That one also was in the reverse. I guess these all kind of needed to show us that. So when it comes to other people, there could be some sticky situations, but I suppose you get yourself out of it. Um... In relation to other people in your life, it's knowing who to work with, too. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, and how you work. Like, do you prefer to work alone? Do you prefer to be on your own timing, right? Like, someone gives you a task and then you go do it? Do you do you prefer if someone ch you can check in with someone to make sure you're doing something right? Who, who's checking you? Do you know what I mean? And you have to, if you happen to be in control of this more fully, how do you check yourself? Um, 
this also includes breaks. Maybe some of you need a bit of a break from some people. If you've recently gotten yourself out of some sticky situation because you realized uh, this could have been over the last uh, few months also, just um, three earth three earth signs ago. Last September. So, um, who out of the people in your life are really hard workers? Who in your life is really patient? Like where, when you look at them, you're like, oh man, you are so inspiring. It kind of, it kind of emphasizes what we wrote down too. It's like the observation of other people and seeing what can be done, but not by comparing yourself because your authenticity, your, who it is that you are and accepting wherever you are on that path, how you are and what you do as something that's important to you to want to do your best, then, and I do see forward momentum here because this is Leo Scorpio energy. So, well, again, I see how are you, how are you inspired by other people? Because you don't really want to be seen you don't really want to be seen, but what happens when I don't know how to explain that. It reminds me of Aquarius' reading The Veil Part Reborn uh, for March. So, because you know what? Hard work pays off. That was another old reading of yours. Hard work pays off. Because I guess your soul's been preparing for something too. Your heart's been been. been Preparing for something. Let's see what the advice is, Scorpio. Okay, Panther. There's another cat, another feline, and eight of swords. Okay, look at these two cats. Look at these two cats. Can you see? If you cannot see, we have a lion. It's male lion. Well, lion is male, right? There's a lion here. Calm, poised, collected, confident. Did we say that? And then we have panther, which is so scared. And so on guard. And um, you know, what is it? Okay, let's, let's talk about cat for a second. Feline. Felines really hide. They hide their pain a lot, right? You usually can't tell. Most wild animals, but but particularly cats, even house cats, they don't. They hide their pain, um, and they actually, when they actually do go and hide physically, they're in a lot of pain. So you can also take this as your low spots that we talked about last month in ways of your isolation. Okay, if you're high, if there's any hiding too much, or someone else is hiding, or whatever it is, if something's hiding. Something's hiding. Now, if you found what we're talking about here to an extent, and been, I saw someone like molding something, like trying to make it into a different form because you understand it better, right? Because three of pentacles is self-mastery. And I see you've had a teacher here for a while, right? Some of you've had a, there's like a new, I don't know, three three months ago, three years ago, There's 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 been this buildup of, um, So, interesting uh, visual, just a second. So some of you are worried about work or like who you are in the world, whether your creations are like 
worth it or um You know, maybe some of you have a creative talent that you just, like, I don't know, maybe you don't believe in yourself. Or it's hard to figure out, like, where to get started. So maybe this is also looking at, again, where you're inspired in some kind of way. Um, as this is, a, a, the advice is Panther and Eight of Swords. Well, if you're in pain, don't hide it. I mean, I see be professional. There's a time and a place to express it and who you're expressing to other people. Share with other people what's going on. This could even be some of your ideas. Maybe it would be best to keep them to yourself. Um, until something grows a little bit, right? You don't tell everybody that you're going to... Um, Start selling your potatoes before you even plant them. Right? You never know. You want to be like 70% there before uh, something's expressed. What's 50% done in your life right now? What's 70? You have things that are 70%. You have something that's 50%. Until August, you're going to have that strong mental... Remember, your yearly reading is it, so awesome, right? So positive, so creative. All of this jam. It's so... All that's in there. But a little bit of mental shadow work, right? Things in the mind, sorting, sorting those out. Tests, right? Really tests of what you have learned via other people, right? And your interaction with them. Whether this would be occupationally or creatively or uh, in just in how, how things are going with your neighbors. Um, I could actually see some of you, your relationship with your neighbors are at least more mellow. Um, if you do have a, a place, what am I saying? There's like a place at home that uh, doesn't just have to do with home. It's a creative space. Where is that in your house? If you're also looking for someone to help you, um, to make something happen, say physically, then, you know, I'm seeing shark tank, a shark tank. It's like, if you're going to present an idea, then you really want to summarize it, right? For instance, most nonprofits, you should be able to describe what it does and give enough information in about, you know, a couple sentences that can help an, another person understand what it is that's going on, what it is that you're trying to do. And of course, talking about it after all these other pieces are already in order, right? You'd, you'd want to have something that's like 90% at that point if you're trying, say, like a bigger project. Interesting. Um, you know, maybe some of you are looking for funding or you're looking for a building or you're looking for, um, I don't know, more people that you can work with. I would also say if, if you're a boss and you're looking for employees, um, that could also be somebody that, again, there's there's like help coming towards you in a physical way. Uh, mostly because you're not giving up. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> again, I see hard work pays off. Oh yeah, Fox, uh, you get two felines here and the hawk. Actually, there's three felines. Because you have all the Leo there too. Oh, someone completed some really good part of there's 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 really beautiful karma through the heart. Yes, balanced here. There's something about that. If you're, and of course this is a lifelong process, but there is like a checkpoint here. 
And for some of you, it could also be something that's like six months from now also. Uh, there's like a door or something like your world could really change. And if you see Hawk around, remember that usually is an indication that your life is about to change. Yeah, it's like similar to Butterfly. You know, it's very transformative energy. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Unicorn. It can be so magical though. That's the thing. I guess you want to think about seeing what can be but not by comparing right we're not talking about covetous being covetous it's it's about being inspired right don't compare yourself and put 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 a full sense of care around whatever you work with okay Whatever your plans are or whatever you're participating with. You know? Okay. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this was helpful. Um, I do really appreciate you. I do. Those of you who are really in the tribe, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you have a wonderful month or whenever you find this. And I'll talk to you next time.